Dan is in Lima, Ohio. Hi, Dan. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Thanks, Dave, for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Appreciate it. Well, I recently um, had knee surgery, both both total knees. So, Ooh. And as I'm going to physical therapy, that happened December 2nd, as I'm going to physical therapy, they're telling me I can no longer kneel and I can no longer climb. And I am a carpenter, and that's what I do. So it's like, okay, I have to do something different. Um, I do have options. I can go ahead and retire. I have to take a penalty. And I would draw approximately $3,118 a month until the day I die. So that's not a bad option, but it's like I want to make sure I do the right option. If I would make it until 62, I'd draw almost $3,800 a month. How old are so you? I am, I'll be 58 in January. You're a union carpenter, I take it? Yes, union carpenter, yes. Okay. So the rant and rave about uh, college and everything else like that, for you people that ain't smart, a union trade is a great thing. Pipe fitter, boiler maker, carpenter, yeah. it's all a great thing. Yeah. What do you What do you make a year back when you were still uh, uh, swinging a hammer? I make about 65 a year, 60. Okay. Good for you. Depends on how much overtime I work, which is you know, usually a lot. Do you have any other savings? Yes, we. I also had a, the carpenter union comes with also an annuity, and I've got like thirty four thousand in that, and I've pulled that out of the carpenters union and put it in Edward Jones in stocks. But you know, as you can see, the last year the stock market has not been friendly to my to my uh, investments there. So, um, I would I would like to know more about switching it to a a mutual fund of some sort that you know will. They'll be decent through a year like this year. Um, well, I, I mean, you're, you would be selling it. something that's down and buying something that's down, so it's as good a time to do it as any as far as that switching that over goes. Okay, so you're you're not going to be a carpenter anymore, and um, you're going to be making $3,100, right? Right. So what are you going to do now? Well... And that's the thing. I could go do something else for a couple of years, and I'd like to because I would like to pay off my mortgage. Well, I mean, you're young. you got a lot of things you could do. you just not be a carpenter. you can be something else. And this is what we call an right. encore career. It's the second act. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you're 58. Yeah. You still have lots of time, even, even just in general. I think we had this conversation a few weeks ago where it's nice to keep your brain active and moving and doing things. Um, even if it's not the career you've known for so many years, just to have that stimulation versus. I bet you on those super, super cold days or those super, super hot days, you had something pop into your head you'd like to do someday. You, you know, I messed my shoulder. I got another story. I messed my shoulder up in 13. So I um, went back, got fixed, tore off my rotator, tore off my labor, tore off my biceps. So. I get it fixed. I go back to work a year later, same pains, you know. So I go see the doctor. The doctor says, you need to do something different. Your carpenter is tearing your shoulder up. So I started my own business. I started a Maco tool franchise, and I did that for like five years. And I had a son-in-law that moved back from Florida, and I was like, I was like, come along with me. Give this a try. And he did awesome at it. So I set him up in that business, and I went back being a carpenter. So, and then recently, my knees, you know, I knew they were bad, you know, and then you go get them MRI. So if you can do like, a oh, Mac tool business, business, you can do another business, right? Yeah. But so I'm not. telling you, those days that you were laid up in the hospital or those days that it was too hot to be outside or too cold to be outside and you were out there anyway, you were thinking, someday I'm going to go do blank, 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 and you ought to go do that now. That's all I'm saying. Do you're you think you're, gonna, you're not a carpenter anymore. Your doc told you. You're done. Do you think you should go ahead and take the early penalty and get the thirty-one eighteen, or wait on that? Like, do another career that well, fully he, funds his life? I mean, yeah, if you can just eat, if you can make enough to live and not take it now and take it at sixty-five, that's fine. Uh, that's going to be a lot better deal for him. Um, but or take it now and still go get money. Right, well, and either it, one's okay. Yeah, if you if you do take it now. It, it, you could still get a job that's a little bit more of a passion project. Like if you want to go, you know, volunteer, not volunteer, but work in a nonprofit or something like no, that, I, I guess that's I, no. the case. No, I want them to go make some money. 
So get a real, like he, a he ran, full... He ran a business making money with tool business before. So best case scenario, he waits till 62. Don't touch that. And then let it get to where it's 3,800. Either one's fine. But it, if he takes it now, it does take the pressure off mm. trying to make the other thing happen immediately because you got money to eat with. Yeah, so I'm probably going to take it now just for that reason. But I, I'm still going to say, and mm-hmm. go start another thing, man. Yeah, you've this done it not, before. You're not going to kick your feet up on on 3000 bucks a month. You're not done at that. So you, you need some more than that. So. Well, and even just beyond the money, you talk, you told the story recently about your fishing friend who took off for a while, then he got fat, and then yeah. went back to work. Yeah. He didn't, and he didn't enjoy it. A lot of people, you know, they get all that time back, and then they're like, wait a minute, I want to do something. I'm excited to do something. I want to get out of the house. Yep. That's exactly right. So there, there's, there's a benefit of that. And I, I just think, you know, um, all I'm saying is you, you've been through all this pain physically and, and now you don't really have the option of doing this anymore. So the only question is whether you take the retirement now or you wait and take it later doesn't really matter. Either one's going to be fine, but neither case is enough. So you're going to be create, you need to go create some income doing something else. That's the important part of this particular discussion. By the way, folks, it is good to stop and recognize this okay Buford did a book called halftime and he said that uh men in particular the data tells us spend the first half of their life in acquisition and the second half of their life seeking significance women too but he had the study he did was on men and the research that he had was on that and if you don't reach for significance in that second half you tend to get off the rails and, um, you know, get into drugs or, you know, run off with a secretary in a red convertible or whatever, that kind of stuff. Right. So you, so guys, you got to need to aim at something in the second half. Now, sometimes your second half starts at 30. Sometimes it starts at 58. You know, what's your second half? It does. It's not an age thing. It was, there's a, like an arc to your career, an arc to what you're doing the first half of it is acquisition. The second half is significance. The important part of that conversation is the other piece of data that's out there that we do know is that your highest, the typical person, your highest income potential decade is the decade of your 50s, 50 to 60, because that's the point in your life that all of your experience in your career field is now valuable. And before then, you've been gathering that experience by making mistakes. Now all of those mistakes are called experience, and, and you're, you really know things that you just didn't know before. It puts you in a sweet spot to go really cha-ching. And, and so that's why this encore career thing comes up is very, very, very important. 